Good morning, Madam Mayor. Good morning. I'm Alan Mark. I act, uh, act for, for Intersource. Uh, just a very few uh, c questions uh, for you and some follow-up on the questions you, you've already been asked. Am I correct to take it from your testimony that that you and council were certainly of the view that the proposed agreement between uh, uh, Borealis and the city was very advantageous for the city? Very definitely. Uh, and would it be and would it be fair to say that Mr. O'Brien and Mr. Houston would have understood that the city's overriding instruction here was to get this deal completed? Yes. Uh, I guess Bill 100 really hit the fan, <laughs> and uh, so uh, things started to happen. Best euphemism I've heard in a long time. <laughs> uh, and, and indeed, you were always wanted the deal to close, and after Bill 100 came along, I take it there was a good deal of anxiety that the deal may not close. Exactly. Right. Very, very, uh, very concerned, and not just our utility, all utilities were in, that were in the process of, of actually not bringing in an investor, but even reorganizing into a private operation. Bill uh, 100 was serious. And I take it from when Bill 100 was introduced and through until this deal was closed, you kept in touch with Mr. O'Brien on a fairly regular basis as to the progress uh, of the transaction? I Yes, I, you know, I can't recall exactly, uh, but uh, he would know, and so would uh, Mr. Houston and TD Securities know that we had a timeline to meet, and therefore it was expeditious. That, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, O'Brien has, uh, has told us uh, about his working relationship with you. It was a long one and a close one, I gather. Is that correct? Yeah, all city managers. Yeah. And um, Mr. O'Brien, of course, <clears throat> did not limit his discussion of city business with you to formal council meetings. He testified uh, that uh, you and he, indeed he and other councillors, uh, would have had uh, informal conversations about city, city business on a regular basis. Oh, yes, that occurs on a regular basis. Uh, and if we just um, move ahead to the time period close to the end of the chronology, the period around November 29th and through to the closing on December 6th. Was Mr. O'Brien keeping you posted during those several days uh, as to the progress uh, of getting to a closing of this transaction on December the 6th? I don't recall. You know, I, you know that's going back 10 years. Huh? <laughs> All right, so you, you don't re recall about that time in particular? Well, no. But okay. Just remember that the decision to change it was December the 3rd. Right. No, and I understand, I certainly understand your evidence that Mr. O'Brien did not, you have no recollection of Mr. O'Brien briefing yes, you on the changes. Absolutely. My question is a little bit different, Madam Mayor. During the period November 29th to oh. December 6th, yeah. would Mr. O'Brien have been, have been speaking to you at all about whether it appeared the deal was going to in fact be completed? On oh, the 6th. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I'm sure he would have told me it's progressing uh, because I try to expedite things around the city, so I'm sure I would have said to him, how is the contract pro progressing? All right. Yeah, it's quite normal, uh, not just on this contract, on any uh, major undertaking that the city would be involved in. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Please put up Exhibit 22. I'm Clifford Lax. I'm the uh, counsel for the city of Mississauga. And Exhibit 22, which is coming up on the on the screen, if you go to the bottom, please. Uh, this is uh, the uh, an email, which is dated October the 4th, 2007, Madam Mayor. And at the bottom of this email of 2007, uh, you indicate that you uh, uh, will discuss uh, the matter with Dave O'Brien. Yes. And you told us before that you can't recall what he told you, but you said you wanted his response in writing. Do you recall that? Yes. In other now, words, uh, I guess he, uh, whatever he put in writing, he must have uh, advised me verbally. Yes. But I asked that it be in writing. But the response in writing 
is Exhibit 17. If we could have that put up on the screen now. And he doesn't get around to answering you until January 22nd, 2009. That's a year and a half after you asked him for his response. <coughs> uh, and I take it that you and he are very close. Uh, you were close. He was a close advisor of yours? Well, yes. Certainly managers. And, and, and uh, would you agree with me that the response of well over a year under those circumstances on something as important as this yeah, uh, they, was yeah. not timely? Yes, I would say that. So can I assume that before he responded in writing on the 22nd, of January that you and he would have had some other discussions because you had indicated to council that you were going to follow up with him and get his explanation as to how this had happened. Right. And do I understand that you cannot recall what he told you? Well, I, 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 he at all times has said that he felt that he had brief counsel. Right. There's no question about it. And then when he did get around to writing you this email, Exhibit 65, uh, Exhibit 17, as you've pointed out uh, quite correctly, that his answer doesn't make any sense because he couldn't have briefed counsel on November the 29th about a change that didn't occur until December the, the 4th. Right. And so when you got this email, it didn't make any sense that you get back to him and say, Dave, for goodness sake, uh, uh, turn your mind to this because people are asking questions and your email doesn't advance the explanation at all. It yeah. doesn't make any sense. Well, that's why I wanted it in writing. Yes, but after you got it in writing yeah. and it didn't make any sense, did you get back to them and say, uh, your email can't possibly be accurate uh, because you couldn't have briefed us on a change that hadn't yet taken place? I re referred the, the memo to Mary Ellen gave her so for her to have as his position on on the question that was raised as to whether he briefed council or the mayor and so I can't uh, to go back and tell him that uh, well what you've said is wrong is uh, it's not my responsibility I wanted to get the details from him in writing to place that place it on the record can I just uh, ask you about one other matter, and if we go to Exhibit 57. 